Over the past many months, I've been analyzing a multitude of studies on how saturated fats affect our insulin sensitivity. The diagnosis has been poor, implying strongly that saturated fats are a contributor to worse insulin sensitivity. However, that may not be the whole story, so I'd like to add a bit more flavor, a bit more context that we may be missing up to now. My focus up to now has been to look at studies investigating the prominent saturated fats palmitate and stearate. Almost every study I've analyzed has shown consistently that both lead to worse insulin sensitivity. However, some people have been asking me about other saturated fats like myristic acid, uh, lauric acid, capric acid, and so on. Well, I expect to take a closer look at these fats as well, but I did want to note a publication that I thought was really interesting. Herein, the researcher offers an argument that we do need to get more specific with saturated fat guidelines because it might not be fair to lump all saturated fats into the category of harmful to insulin sensitivity. They point out that certain saturated fats are inversely associated with poor insulin sensitivity. Hi, me real quick had to interject because as I was editing this, I realized that I very emphatically said an inverse relationship as if that was the correct word. And in truth, that was not the correct association. The correct association is a direct relationship or a positive relationship. So the definition you're about to hear related to that is to a direct relationship between this type of saturated fat and diabetes or reduced diabetes risk, just to be clear. Bit of an oopsie on my end, my apologies. Meaning that more of these saturated fats found in the body are linked to better insulin sensitivity. Now, granted, it's a correlation, but still it's intriguing. They mentioned that odd chained saturated fats were linked to lower type 2 diabetes incidence. And the same was true for very long saturated fat molecules. You see, saturated fats are linear molecules like chains of carbon atoms. Most of the common fat molecules have 14 carbons linked together or 16 carbons or some other chain of even numbered carbon atoms. These are obviously even saturated fats. However, odd chained, which are less discussed, can be 15 or 17 carbon atoms linked together. A weird example is margaric acid, which Side note, sounds like a cheap villain, Margaric the Mad. But it turns out its association with better insulin sensitivity, even if it occurs in tiny amounts in our food. Still, even in their mentioning that certain saturated fats should be seen as separate from the rest of the pack, even they acknowledge that most even saturated fats, like the two that I discussed earlier, palmitate and stearate, are associated with higher diabetes incidence. So, all this to say that although there is significant evidence that saturated fats don't serve our health in regard to insulin sensitivity, there is some nuance there that still needs to be teased out. Now, some of that nuance may come in the form of the type of saturated fat, but it's also with what you replace saturated fat. Because there is evidence that replacing it with one nutrient may not provide any benefit. But that's a discussion for another time. If you're interested in keeping up with my investigations on saturated fat and insulin resistance, watch this content right here and the mystery will slowly unravel and we'll get to the bottom of it all. Speak to you then.